Blessings, everyone. I pray you guys are having a great day. Thanks so much for watching. And if you are new here, thanks for stopping by. And please hit the subscribe button and join the family. It will bring my heart joy. Today, I am beginning By the Will for God's uh, devotional mind games. And today, I am journaling in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 and 5. And day one is titled, Does It Matter? What difference can thoughts make? Nobody knows what's going on in our heads, right? Wrong. Psalm 139, 1 through 4 declares, O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it all together. Yes, Almighty God knows very well what we are thinking. Nothing is hidden from Him. So in that regard, our thoughts are important. But it's also vital to understand that what is in the mind and in our thoughts have a direct impact on our spiritual life. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 and 5 give instruction. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. The word of God makes clear. Arguments and lofty or proud opinions are to be destroyed if they are contrary to God's wisdom and thoughts are to be taken captive. We should be careful to test what we are told to see if it lines up with the Word of God. But do we do the same thing with what we tell ourselves? Do we test our own thinking? These arguments, proud opinions, and thoughts are in our mind. When we find our mind running in a wayward direction, do we indulge it or take it captive to God's Word? Letting these ungodly feelings, judgments, and beliefs run amok in our head, can establish a stronghold from the enemy. Elizabeth Elliot explains, spiritual strongholds begin with a thought. One thought becomes a consideration. A consideration develops into an attitude, which leads then to action. Action repeated becomes a habit, and a habit establishes a power base for the enemy. That is a stronghold. This incentive game that we are involved in, our thoughts, life matters. This is why Proverbs 4.23 warns, Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. Test your thinking. Hold it up to the light of God's word. If it is contrary to scripture, take it captive and refuse to let it have liberty in your heart and mind. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray you guys were blessed. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Please hit the like button, the notification bell, and hit that subscribe button and join the family. But most of all, remember that it is all about Jesus. It is all about Him. I love you guys with the love of the Lord. Have a great day and enjoy the rest of the video. Until next time, bye-bye.